as black kings, we are nothing without our crown. Yep. That is our new motto. We got to get crown to sponsor us. So if you are a loyal listener, make sure you tag, tag Crown Royal because we're trying to get that sponsorship, baby. Oh, yeah. And, and don't forget, we always got to show our love to the network that we're on, Rogue Media and all that. So always tune in to Rogue Media for fresh podcasts and all that good stuff. We out here, baby. You won't find this podcast on a tune station. 104 this, 104.9 that. Nah. We're too raw for it. You gotta go to Rogue Media. Because they're the outlaws of this podcast shit. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. Blues. Nigga. Run, Run it. Speaking of uh, being red carpet fresh, right? So we, we I did bring this up, right? Because I I'm a watch guy. I'm a watch guy. Right, right. And I was seeing on Twitter uh, this debate. I think you're uh, my brother, bro. Huh? <laughs> you're my brother, for real, bro. I uh, seen this debate about Rolex versus rental property. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I found a video. Have you seen the video? Yeah. I, you, All right, Mike, look. we're going to play the audio from the video. Are you ready for this? So if you, if, Just, if as listeners, if you haven't heard about this, I'm going to play the audio for the video And what real was quick. the title so they can know? And it's, uh, it's, if you look on Twitter, just search Rolex versus rental property, and you you'll probably, find this. And you probably find it on all the yeah. social media you, platforms. You ready? All right, go play it real quick. Uh, there we go. Here you go. Okay. Open it for me. Let me see. Let's see what she got. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay. Let me show. Mm-hmm. Right. How about your rental property? Hey! Now what about your rental property? Now that's a real boss. I'm fixing this shit up. That's a real boss. Okay. 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 Dog, I want like a Rolex, a chain. What I tell you? Fuck it, real property. You got it home, nigga. What is it Read it out. This on the east side. Oh, Dex, this on Drexus. That's the pool. All right. Wow. All right. So if you if you didn't catch that, basically, uh, the so it was dude birthday. His girl got him some gifts, and she bought him a rental property for his birthday. And this bitch ass nigga had the audacity to complain and say he don't want it and wants a Rolex. I'd rather have a Rolex. And I was like, I seen this shit, and I was like, man, bro, you do? Do you not know as a black man <clears throat> how dis fucking respectful that is, bro? She should leave him immediately. 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 Because you, you, you got a bitch ass, ass nigga on your hand. You a trash. But dude. here's the thing, right? Here's what got me, because I seen it was a debate, which means that it was other niggas taking up for this. Yes, that's, how, that's why we get the damn stigma that we get because of mother juckers like that. I was like, <laughs> whoa. like, cause, cause, So the argument that niggas was making was this. They was like, oh, she basically gave him a job for his birthday. Like, wow. you don't understand the work <sighs> that has to be put into a rental property. You no, got fixed up, yada, no. yada, yada. And so, like, how would you feel if somebody gave you a... I was like, you... No, you dumbass. Bruh. You, she gave you revenue. Bruh. She gave you something that can make money. How you gonna make money off your Rolex, sir? Nothing. And you, at best, can get what you paid for when you sell Cause it. Because it's devalued now. Exactly. You wore it. Yo, and I'm like... You bought it. That's what it is. You bought it. It's devalued. Is this a, is this a widespread mentality of bitch-ass niggas? Bi- like bitch assness is out here. And, you know, Diddy said it a long time ago. I think it was the early 2000s. He said it was a lot of bitch assness out here. That, yeah, and that's that, some bitch assness right there. So 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 here's my thing, right? Like, so we as a as a black community, as, as brothers, I think we got to do better because this is the reason we get a bad rap because niggas like that. Yeah. Now, we are, we are, uh, are fine. Like, I, my thing is this, right? Like, if for, in order for us to get ahead as a people, it's going to be uh, based off economics, right? Mm-hmm. We can vote, do all that shit all we want to, but it's really about money. Money's going to buy the power. Exactly. If you look at our, at our culture, we start over every generation. White kids, uh, Indian kids, right, uh, like right. chi- Asian kids, like most immigrants come over here, build a business to leave to their kids. 
white people leave inheritance to their kids. We don't leave. We no. buy whatever we want and then leave right the kids with the debt. Like that's why we starting over every fucking generation. Exactly. We some right now people. Exactly. And that's what's the fucked up part about it. Like I was telling, I was, you know what? I was having this discussion with somebody else about that. Like, why don't we invest in shit? Why does it take somebody else to invest in us? Like we don't even invest in our own people. Yeah. Like keep in mind, if you was to open a business right now, mm-hmm. right now, mm-hmm. in order for us to like it's in like every time when it comes to our people sometimes they like all oh, the price is too high i can get that over there oh man you trying to do this you ain't got this but you'll go buy a louis bag from somebody and you know that's expensive or you'll go support something else that's as expensive or whatever yeah it's like I, I really yet to understand it but you'll listen to an asian person tell you what type of hair to put in your head <laughs> real shit and and that and that right there <laughs> like i think that is the persona of like why we economically can't well why we can't get ahead because we aren't economically empowered and i heard people argue with me about this of like well how are we going to be economically powered if we don't learn learn like youtube university will teach you everything you need to know about anything right like we got to do our own research like nigga if you would rather take a rolex over a rental property you was one of the niggas that i mentioned in the aforementioned you, episode that we need to get rid of do you remember they had a uh it was a film i believe it was like a, like a documentary of how to get the black person the mm-hmm. materialistic it was on man we i'm about to find it it's on youtube yeah and it's a oh it was like in the 60s bro mm-hmm. like the 50s say the black man, the black people are very materialistic. They have to have what everybody else has. To. Yeah, that's, yeah. How the, that's how the content sounds. Yeah, yeah. And it was showing like different, different things that <laughs> like black people had to have or the materialistic, all these type things. And I was like, damn, that's exactly what it goes down to. Uh, yeah, man. Hold on. Well, we gonna hold that thought. We gonna take. A, we gonna take a real. Where we go? We can wrap that topic up. Okay, okay. So let's wrap that topic up real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like I said, man, we got to be economically empowered. Mm-hmm. Um, that Rolex versus rental property debate yeah. was really interesting. You what? bitch ass niggas who defending that, get the fuck out of here. If a bitch bought me a rental property right now, I would I'm love her forever. It. And if you, the bitch ass nigga that like that bullshit, kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. All right. Blues. Run it.